Hello, Earthlings. Today is Monday, December 17th, 2012, and that means it's once again time for the annual Project for Awesome. For those who don't know, the Project for Awesome is an event where YouTubers like myself and the Log Brothers who started it come together and make videos promoting charities and causes that need attention. The ultimate goal, of course, being to increase the global levels of awesome and hopefully decrease the global levels of what we call world suck. You can find out more information at projectforawesome.com. With that, I'm going to move on to talking about the American Society for Suicide Prevention. Suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the United States, and we are currently experiencing the highest suicide rates in 15 years. In 2010, 38,364 people killed themselves. That's an average of 105 a day. Over 487,700 patients were treated for self-inflicted injuries in the year 2011. And that's just in the United States in emergency rooms. The CDC, where this information comes from, actually acknowledges the fact that those numbers are skewed low due to the fact that most people, or at least a large number of people, don't actually get treated. Depending on the study you look at, someone in the United States dies of suicide every 13.7 to 15 minutes. And the American Society for Suicide Prevention puts the estimate at about 1 million attempts every year. Now, I'm advocating donating to the American Society for Suicide Prevention because one of the things they do is research suicide. And we live in a world where suicide is still kind of a taboo thing to talk about. So research is very, very, very... Very important. More important than that, and more important than even sending your money off into the land of charity, is the personal element. Suicide is an issue of feeling hopeless. Suicide is at its highest right now because of the fact that, while well, you look around with the economy the way it is, there's a lot of people feeling more hopeless. And that's on top of depression and other everyday things that can bring it about. So what do you ask? Give a little hope. Hope is something very, very powerful, and sometimes it is all that can keep us going. Suicidal tendencies are one of those things that they never quite go away. I myself am suffering more strongly from my depression and suicidal and self-destructive tendencies than I have since 2003, and I would not have been able to keep going this year without the support of some very wonderful people. I'm one of the lucky ones, honestly. I got past a previous attempt myself and grew to recognize the people around me who cared. But not everybody sees that, and quite frankly, it is very, very easy to convince yourself out of that notion. And once you've convinced yourself that either no one cares or even those who do care would be better off without you, it is really hard to pull back from that idea. The suicidal mindset is very, very selfish. And a lot of times people are not thinking about what will happen after they're gone. Last project for Awesome, I talked about my friend Ari, who killed herself the previous summer. I found out after uploading that video that her mother uh, also killed herself several months later. There is a lot of pain in our world, and I think what we all need is a little hope. And you can do that just by being a good person and being there for anyone you see, be they friend or stranger, as much as you can without yourself falling into a pit of despair. I'm very lucky to have friends and family who are very good at giving me hope when they're around and I'm not isolating myself from them. Friends who will keep dragging me on when all I want to do is lie down in the middle of the road or an alley or somewhere and just stop and just not be anymore. I've tried to pay that forward a bit. Last year I offered to talk with anyone who wanted to about suicide and depression, and that offer still remains open, though I will give one caveat. I'm not necessarily going to be very good at responding all of the time. I was corresponding with several people after that, and I'm afraid I failed a bit because I started having my own issues and very early in the year. If, however, I cannot help you, I am putting a link in the doobly-doo to the Facebook group when you forget that you're awesome. It's a group started by members of the Adult Nerd Fighter Facebook group for just support when you're feeling depressed or suicidal or you just need someone to talk to. I think it is a wonderful group full of amazingly awesome people. That kind of thing, Nerd Fighter as a whole, the project for awesome, this is all about hope. Though it's sometimes so hard to see, especially when you're young. There is good stuff around the corner and there's good stuff everywhere hiding. And I would encourage anyone feeling like there is nothing there or they don't
don't have hope or there's nothing around the corner. There is. I guarantee you there is. But I would urge you, please, don't wait for it to come to you, because it will eventually, but you can get it so much faster if you go out and look for it. I'm Adam the Alien. Fare thee well. I've talked in the past a lot more comprehensively about issues of suicide, depression, bullying. Those links are around my face, and up there and there, and there are some videos down there, two other Project for Awesome videos I have made. Check them out! And again, I really do mean it when I say, fare thee well.